In this video, we are going to talk about Urusei Yatsura 2022 Episode 9. Yeah, you got every reason to celebrate because it was one crazy episode. So keep on watching. Why did I say beforehand that it's one crazy episode? Well, we, uh, we could say uh, a major character in the, in the, in the whole storyline of Urusei has just made his, uh, has just introduced himself for the reboot. His name is Ray. And much to the, uh, and much to the shock of the most arrogant character in this storyline, whose name is Mendo. Here we go. Okay, all hell broke loose, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell it to you right now, guys. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First order business, the thumbnail. Only one, what? Only one word to describe Mendo's reaction when he saw Ray's face. Priceless. <laughs> I have been, uh, I've been waiting eight episodes of the reboot to um for this reaction on Mendo's face. Pag nakita niya si Ray, alright? Eto kasi si Ray. Eto yung talaga mo. Puro dulo ng away ni Lebron at Lum. He is handsome as fuck. Alright? Kaya, tae si Mendo. <laughs> and the shock look proves that. So, thumbnail. So, with that in mind, guys, let's get to the nitty gritty of this episode. Pace! Natural. Alright? Multi story format. A classic comedy anime rebooted. Ay, talaga mabilis ang pacing. If you can't keep up, no, don't watch the Urusei Yatsura reboot. Alright? If you have a short, if you have a, if you have a, uh, an attention span shorter than a goldfish, no, do not watch the reboot. Okay? For your, for your own mental health. <laughs> Pero, Obviously, I, I got no complaints about the pacing of this episode. Kasi, oh, again, they used the two-story format to introduce a, um, a major character in the Urusei Yatsura storyline. But there's a slight difference, which I will explain later on. So, folks, what are the pacing? I would be disappointed in David Production if they slowed the pace down or turned it into a one-story one episode for... For Ray. Kasi, unlike, uh, unlike, uh, Kurama, Ray brought on, brought on the riot. And the pacing will make you realize that. Right? So, no complaints, guys. Flo naman. Biggest gear shift of the first story was, of course, um, Mendo, a uh, Mendo. Mendo tuloy. Ray, Shows up for the first time uh, in in Ataru's house. No brainer there, folks. Because uh, he introduced himself into the re he injected himself into the reboot in a in a grand way. Ganon kating dia pag stalker niya ni Lam. That that gearship proves it. Biggest gearship of the second story is well, you guessed it, the thumbnail. <laughs> But it just goes to show you that um, arrogance uh, has its limits, right? But to the one owning it, it knows no bounds. That's the um, uh, that's the irony of arrogance, and this gearship proves it. I would be an idiot if I do not call that a gearship, because na sentral ng todo ng isang major character dito, eh. Right? Nasemplak siya ng todo rito. And well, bro, yeah, definitely put him in his place. And, and it just goes, uh, it, it just told him that, hey Mendo, you're not, uh, you're not the only good looking guy in this universe. Someone else is. And it just, and it just dropped by your school. So these two gear shifts that I saw, guys, Bitin, Wag yung panoorin ng dala. Wag, don't be lazy, okay? Do not just watch these two gear shifts. Watch the whole episode. 
Kasi, a major character, another major character has been introduced. Pero ginawa lang itong story format. Right? So, kung hindi na rin may iwasan ng TV production yun. Yeah, but, no? We don't know what we don't know what they're thinking. Oh, I'm just I'm just stating theories right now. Plot lines. Eto na. Okay. Una yung ano? Planchado ang plot, guys. I can't deny the fact that um that is a uh, that there is a heartbreak in uh, in the plot. Pero when it came back, I felt that it was the same, ano eh? It's the same timeline. Okay? It's the same timeline. Kumbaga, uh, within yung events of, of the first and second stories are just within mere hours of each other. Kasi kung, well, if you've seen the episode before, the first story happened at night. Gabi nangyari ito. Then, the second story, ayun, nasa school na silang lahat. So, uh, uh, judging by it, mukhang mid-morning ito. So, it's definitely within mere hours of each other. So, that means, for me, it's the same continuity. So, yeah. Uh, seamless, actually. Right? The, 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 the plot, the entire plot of this episode is still seamless kasi isang continuity lang yung sinundan. Looks like they took a page out of Comic and Communicates playbook. Right? Mukhang narinig tayo ng David Productions. Okay? Mukhang narinig tayo ng David Productions doon. Um, from our review of the last episode. Totally, uh, it totally blew me away. The well ironed out plot of this episode. Okay? Kahit nagkaroon ng heartbreak, it's still the same continuity. So, I got to fully appreciate the entire episode uh, as a consequence. So, totally satisfied, guys. So, pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. Alright? The Odyssey Yatsura reboot has done it again. Uh, it was it was another challenge to review. Grab it. So, Urusei Yatsura 2022, Episode 9, No Brainer! Kyudota! I gotta hand it to, uh, to David Productions, right? It was a wise decision for them to make it a, to make it a multi-story format, it a reboot. Because, with the short attention span of people these days, yeah, I, I can't blame them. Kung susundan nila ang original format ng ng, ng anime na to, baka walang manood. Right? Baka walang manood. At much less, baka, baka walang matawa. Okay? So, hands off again to David Productions for another, uh, for, for totally giving justice to the original series. Right? Of course, in their own way. Well, David Productions. Uh, what other animes are they handling? Jojo, sells at work, right? Those are the two. Those are two of the biggest anime franchises right now. So what do we do now, guys? Of course, wait for the next episode. But in the meantime, watch the next review.